Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Step back in time with me as we explore the forgotten joys and enduring relevance of dictionaries and encyclopedias. The unique benefits of these classic resources, from stimulating intellectual curiosity to offering trusted knowledge, and why they still matter for a well-rounded mind. In the era of Google and Wikipedia, dictionaries and encyclopedias seem like relics of a bygone age, yet there's something uniquely satisfying about flipping through the pages of these bulky volumes. Once considered essential tools for intellectual growth, dictionaries and encyclopedias are often overlooked today in favor of quick online searches. But are we missing out on valuable opportunities to exercise our minds? This podcast aims to discuss the role of these traditional resources in stimulating intellectual curiosity and offering reliable information. Remember the sheer joy of spending an afternoon exploring the pages of an encyclopedia? Each page opened a new world of knowledge, from distant lands and ancient history to scientific phenomena. This mental exploration is a form of intellectual exercise. Much like physical workouts strengthen our bodies, the act of discovering and assimilating new information helps keep our minds in tip-top shape. One undeniable advantage of traditional dictionaries and encyclopedias is the credibility of their content. Often the result of exhaustive research and rigorous fact-checking, these resources offer a level of reliability that can sometimes be missing online. Amidst a modern landscape cluttered with misinformation and fake news, the value of a dependable source cannot be overstated. While digital searches offer specific targeted results, leafing through a physical book offers the pleasure of the unexpected. You might open an encyclopedia to look up information about oceanography, but find yourself sidetracked by an article on Greek mythology. This kind of spontaneous intellectual journey encourages a form of learning that is explorative, rather than strictly goal-oriented. There's also something to be said for the sensory experience of handling a physical book. The texture of the paper, the rustle of pages turning, even the scent of printed ink, all add dimensions to the learning process that a digital experience simply can't replicate. When it comes to dictionaries, they're a treasure trove for language enthusiasts. The layout of a dictionary allows you to see words in context, complete with synonyms, antonyms, and usage examples. This kind of comprehensive view not only broadens your vocabulary, but also enhances your understanding of language nuances. The act of sitting down with a book requires a degree of commitment that clicking on a hyperlink does not. The physical act of turning pages and reading through entries demands a slower, more focused form of attention. This slowing down can be a form of mindfulness, allowing for a deeper understanding and better retention of the material. Another aspect to consider is the lifespan of physical books. While digital formats might become obsolete, a well-preserved book can last for generations. Many people still cherish old dictionaries and encyclopedias, not just for their content, but also for their aesthetic and sentimental value. Even in today's tech-driven world, these traditional resources have found ways to stay relevant. Many publications have online versions, complete with interactive features and multimedia elements. These digital adaptations offer the best of both worlds, combining the reliability of traditional publishing with the convenience of online access. It's worth acknowledging the limitations of physical dictionaries and encyclopedias. They can be bulky, expensive, and their information can become outdated. However, these downsides do not negate the unique benefits they offer, especially as tools for intellectual exploration and reliable research. So, what role can these seemingly outdated tools play in our modern lives? They can still serve as essential resources for students, researchers, writers, and anyone interested in deepening their knowledge. Furthermore, they can act as complementary resources to digital tools, filling in gaps and offering a more rounded understanding of complex subjects. While the convenience and speed of online research are undeniable, there's still a place for dictionaries and encyclopedias in our intellectual landscape, whether it's the reliability of professionally curated information, the sensory pleasure of handling a physical volume, or the joy of serendipitous discovery, these traditional resources offer unique benefits that are worth preserving. 
The next time you have a free afternoon, why not dust off that old set of encyclopedias or pull out a dictionary from the shelf? You might be surprised by how much you enjoy the experience of exercising your mind in this old-fashioned yet deeply satisfying way. Thanks for listening to the Ancestral Findings podcast. Be sure to visit ancestralfindings.com to download a free genealogy ebook and sign up for the weekly historical postcard giveaway. I hope you have a wonderful day and as always, happy searching.